oh, hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I know you did your writing today. Uh, I'm recording this like weeks beforehand. So hopefully you did your writing today and you did a good job. Uh, I just want to do a quick math lesson with you so that you guys can do this whenever you want. Uh, but I want you to read through these volume problems are getting a little more complicated. So uh, pause the video and try to solve number one. Okay, so number one is just wants you to find what is the total volume, right? So it has a three by foot, three by two foot base. So that means, oh, it has a refrigerator portion. I should read these questions first and a freezer portion. So we wanna know the total volume. So we need to find both of those, right? So this is basically three times two times four for the refrigerator. By now, I hope you know that's length times height times width, because or uh, if you don't know, <laughs> we can't really tell you anymore. And then the freezer would be three times two times two because of the freezer height down here. So three times two is six times four is 24. Three times two is six times two is 12. And then we would add them together to get 36. So for number one, your answer would be A. Okay, go ahead and try number two. Okay, so Matthew has two coolers. Each one measures 30 inches long, that's the length, times 10 inches wide, times 15 inches high. What is the total volume of the two coolers? And remember they're identical. So, uh, 30 times 10 is 300 times 15 equals 4,500. Now they do give you that as one of the choices, right? But remember there's two of them. So that's where they trick you if you don't pay attention to two, two. So you've got to multiply this by two, which is zero, zero, 10, carry the one. 9,000, so your answer should be B. See how many people listen to my video because I'm gonna leave A circled for the people that just wanna pick it. All right, take a look, pause the video and do number three. <clears throat> okay, so number three is pretty simple. She's just gonna put cubes in each one of these boxes and we wanna know how many of her little box cubes she can put in there. So you should have to figure out the area of the two of them and then add it together. So, Four times four times four, the area of this one would be 64. And 18 times one is 18 times two is uh, 36. So you would add those together. 100. So they're not really trying to trick you here. They're, she's just taking the one foot square boxes and putting them into these crates that are here. So you just got to know to find the air, the volume of both of them and then put it together. Okay, give number four a try on your own. Okay, so they're telling us, remember, the area of the base is eight. So area equals length times width. So the length and width together we know equal eight. We'll we know that the height times the height would give us the total area that we're talking about that they say of 48, right? So you've got to take this eight and put it into the 48 to find your height, right? So it just turns into a simple division problem. And you know, immediately when you see that, you know, these two immediately go away because they don't make sense. So remember, this is using those um, fact families and different things to figure this out, right? You have to know that that area, when they say the area, they're giving you the length and the width already, right? They're already giving it to you. And then they're giving you the whole volume. So you need to solve for this height, which is solving for H. And that is just really just figuring out what times eight equals 48, right? Which is a division problem. So that would give you six. All right. Take a look at number four. Five. So Amy had had two boxes to build her gerbil house. They gave her both the measurements. 
the total volume that she built this up, you just have to figure out both of them. So the volume of one box was six times three times 10, which is uh, 18 times 10 is uh, 180 for the first box. And then the second box was four by two by two, which is four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. Add those together and you get 196, which is A. Okay, so for Canvas, I made each one of these six, six A, six B and six C. So pause this and try to solve it and get your yes or no's. Okay, so basically what this is asking you is that they're going on a hiking trip and they can bring 345 cubic inches of supplies. So you're just gonna say, if this is how, many, how much the supplies they bring and you just have to say yes or no, will it all fit in the boxes? So you just have to basically calculate both of these and see whether it would fit into the 345. So four times 12 times four is 192. Eight times seven times three is 168. And if we add that all up, we get 360. So in this one, the answer would be no because they have too much stuff. So if you were confused on how to do this problem, pause again and try to do 6B, 6C and 6D on your own. Okay. So if you paused and got a check, uh, got a chance to see. So this equals 200, this across, this would be equal 44 times three, 132. That would give us 332 for this, and 345. So yes, this one would fit. So you're just figuring out how much they're each bringing and whether it would all fit in 345. So you just got to multiply across. This would equal 162. Three times eight, or 13 times eight, I mean, is 104. I can already see that's only going to be 260 something, 266. So, yes, that would fit. Uh, six times 13 times four is 312. Ooh, that's big. Which is 48. Add that up together, you would get three. 360, so no, that one would not fit. So just be prepared for them to give you some of these problems like this. This is one of the harder level problems because there's a lot of steps, right? But I mean, none of those steps are horribly hard. I mean, that's some bigger multiplication, but like not anything that you guys haven't done like in fourth grade already. All right, and take a second and pause and try to work out uh, number seven, part A, B, and C. So this, this, you're going to end up with some big numbers. And this is just a read, this is just a reading word problem. And then a big multiplication problem. There's nothing hard here. So you want to find the volume of the first section, second section, and third section. So the total volume is this 24,766. You're not going to really need that number necessarily, right? So let's start to look. The first section has a storage area of 436 area that means they're giving you the length and the width right and a height of 19 so you're just multiplying that to find the volume of section one right and that would give you an answer of 8284 if you multiplied those together so look first section you've got to know that the area is the length and width in your volume formula and then they give you the height. So you're just multiplying these two together to get the first level. The second level, the second section has a height of 15 and a depth of that. First two sections. Oh, I should have read this one ahead of time. Oh gosh, I should have read this ahead of time. The second section has a height of 15 and a depth of 26. The volume of the first two sections is 17,000. Oh, so all I have to do is subtract. Oh, okay. So they're telling you the, 
the volume of the first two sections together is the 17,000 number, right? Well, we know the whole volume is 24,000. So we need to figure out, what is it asking you? Sorry, that's it. No, the length, oh, length of the second section. So we need to take the, this one's confusing. You guys, uh, maybe you got through this, I'm not sure. You have to take the 17,254, which is the first two sections, and subtract our answer up here, the first section out of it, which is going to give us Eight thousand nine seventy, and then we have to take the twenty six and fifteen, the two parts that we know, and multiply them together and get three ninety. So divide three ninety into it, and the length of the last one is going to be twenty three. Uh, that got very long. Okay, this is. This is worth like massive points in the FSA. And I should have looked at this ahead of time because I'm just figuring it out as we go. So it wants you to find for 7B the length of the second section. Now they give you all kinds of random info, right? So the first two sections are this number together. I gave you that right here, right? We know the first section is this number. So once we subtract these, this is the volume of the second section, right? 8,970. Now they're giving us the 15, which is the height, and the width of 26, they want us to find the length. So you've got to take the 26 and the 15 and multiply them together and get the 390. Now you divide the 390 into the 870 to get the length. Because remember, you need to get, you need to multiply the three numbers for the formula and for volume, the length, the height, and the width together to get 8,970, right? We already have the 15, we already have the 26. So that's how we get the 390 by multiplying those together. Now we divide the height and width into the total volume. This 23 represents the length. That's a lot. Sorry, I should have looked at that ahead of time and been a little more prepared. So now we know, let's see, now they want the volume of the third section. Oh, well that's easy because now we know the whole thing the whole thing is this 24,766, right? That's the whole thing. And now we know we take, this is the first volume, this is the second one. So if we add those two together and then subtract it from this one, if I add these two together, that would give me four, And then we subtract and we get two, one, five, 7,512 is the volume of the last section. All right, I know that got confusing, but see if you can follow me here. So the first one wanted the volume of the first section and we had the area and the height. So we just solved volume, right? This is the length and width right here times the height. And that gave us the area of the first section. Now for the length, they gave us the volume of the two sections, the first two. We subtracted the first one to get the volume of the second one. Then they gave us the height and the depth, the width. They say depth, but that means width. So we then did the problem to figure out what the length of 23 was, right? Are you with me now? Now to find the volume of the third section, we took the volume of the whole shape and subtracted the volume of the first and the volume of the second out of it and got the 7,512. So that's a lot of maneuvering and a lot of numbers. If you guys worked that out before we started and you got that right, awesome. That is gonna be like one of your high scoring points on FSA. If you didn't get it, try to erase, erase this video, go back to the video to where I say pause it, and try to think through it again. Try to do this one over and over again until you understand all the things that I did. So just a quick little recap so you have it, so you know the answers. This box, for 7A, your answer is 8,284. And we got that basically by doing the formula with the numbers they gave us, right? Uh, 
where'd they go now? Right. Uh, right here and right here. And that's how we got the volume. Then the second one was finding the length of 23. We had to do some subtraction from the whole minus this to calculate out the length of the one side. We had to get all of our other numbers, our height and uh, width from the other one. And then the last one is just a big subtraction problem because we have the volume of the first, the volume of the second, we have the overall volume, which is here. And then we subtracted the first and second out of the overall to get the final answer, which is this answer is 23. And this one is seven, five, one, two. Ooh, that was a lot. That was horrible. Okay. So go back and try to do that one a couple times on your own. If you can start to understand that one, you're going to be in a great place for this. All right. We'll talk to you guys later.